what is up guys and welcome back to animation station last week i showed you guys how to color uh, a drawing very fast in krita and i'm going to show you that in action today uh, so we have this little animation i'm working on uh, it's with a dog so we're just going to press play on it and i will post this animation when it's completed as well uh, just so you guys can see what it is the dog is there jumps up grabs the frisbee rolls and then walks the frisbee back to the owner so we're just going to go and focus in on just this scene here. Uh, it's just before the tumble there. So the dog is kind of lying on the ground and will be sliding. And I want to show you the three ways you can color this. As you can see, if you look down below, we got tons of frames to get through. So the faster you can color your frames or your images, the better off you'll be uh, for spending time with your animation. So what we want to do is there's three ways to color this. I have two layers open. I've got my line work here and I've got my paint. And both of these here on the left hand side are under uh, the dog group. So if you open that dog group up, you'll see line work and paint. We've already done the line work here on this scene, which is the dog. So that means we'd be working with the paint, um, the paint fill layer. Uh, and what we want to do is there's three ways to color this. I'm going to show you the best way. The best way I did post last week, and I'm going to show you it in action. But there is two other ways as well. So the first way is just grabbing your color and whatever brush that you want. And you would just be literally doing it manually. So this whole animation, I've colored manually, just like this. And I do it sometimes just because I really quite enjoy it. Um, so if you're doing manual color, this is one way to go. Now this does take a lot of extra time. Uh, the advantage of this is you can actually go ahead and put in your shading right away, your shadows and your light. Um, that is the advantage. And it's also, it's also quite satisfying by filling in the lines with the, the paintwork, okay? So say you just colored this part, um, you can go ahead and put your shadows in wherever you want your shadows to be, you see? and then you can even put your light in. So we would go back here, lighten up our brush a bit, and you could just put it in your light, okay? So that's just an example, obviously. Um, one downfall with this is, like I told you before, you'll get the color bleeding over the lines in certain places. Easy to fix up, you just change your brush to the uh, eraser, and you can fix that up quite simply. Um, but there is a better option, all right? So the other option is, let's undo all this. The other option is to use the uh, the actual magnetic, uh, what is it called? Uh, con contagious, so it's a contagious selection tool. I haven't clicked on it in a while. Uh, here it is here, uh, and it's up here as well. So you can see it up here, I'm circling it in the uh, top kind of middle of the screen. And what you would do is you just go back up to your line work. So you can only select it when you have your line work selected and you select what you want to color and it automatically selects all these things here. Then you go back to your paint layer, which is here, and you grab your brush. And if you don't know how to set up your Krita for animation, make sure you watch that video because it makes this uh, switching and toggling uh, very easy when it goes back, when you're going to your brush and other uh, tools. And then you would just paint. You literally just paint anywhere you want. And this is a sweet option. I do use this quite often, but I'm gonna show you the downfall of this. So say you did that, you can even put your shadows in, which is really cool and you can make it real simple for yourself, okay? Then you would deselect that and it would leave you at that. Now this is the problem. It leaves these little line gaps. You see all those white line gaps? So you actually end up having to go back over it again in the paint layer to get it perfect. So sometimes I think to myself, well, what's the point of using a contagious selection tool when you have to go back over your work? Now with that being said, it does help sometimes uh, for some instances you might have a black background and then when you use the contagious selection tool you don't have to go back over your work because there's something behind it already or another color behind it um, so you would definitely you could use that for that as well okay so that's just one option as well the best last and it's not actually complicated once you do it uh, a bunch of times uh, is the uh, the customized tool that they have for coloring. So you would have to use a color mask. So let's undo all of this and let's go back 
and deselect that. And to do the color mask, what you want to do is you want to actually be under your line work here and up in the upper left and you right click and you go down, you go to add and you go to add colorize mask. So you're going to go ahead and add that and you'll see that it's already active because the the marker is already highlighted there okay so i'll show you what will happen when you shut that off as well so it's already active so what we're going to do is we just click on the colors that we want and you literally just tell krita exactly where you want the color so i explained this at uh, the video last week so if you haven't caught that i'll leave that one in the link below as well uh, and then you just keep going and it doesn't matter what type of line you do you're just telling Krita where you want this color right so we want the that color there the darker color the darker brown we want on the tail and the feet because they're kind of in the back in this little section here and then the lighter color is the stomach so we want that here just like so and then the frisbee we want this to be on the frisbee just like so and then we want the nose colored as well the nose is just black so just like that so i think we touched everything and then what you do is you go over to this little half circle here uh, on the left under the colorized mask and you just click it once and it's going to render all your colors for you just like that okay now if you hit this little marker now it tells you what your drawing looks like colored okay it automatically always colors the background so to get rid of the background color, it's very, very simple. All you do is turn your marker on once again, and you pick any random color that you would like, and you would just put an X on the background with that color. So let's make it green, just like that. Okay, and if your picture cuts off the background, you have to actually X wherever the background is. But as you can see, my picture does not cut off the background. And what we're going to do now is you have to have, if you look over here in the top right, you have to have your tool options open. So if you don't have this, so for example, if this is not open, you have to go to settings. You have to go to dockers. You got to go all the way down to tool options and it will open up for you. Okay, it will open it up wherever it last was. And then what you're going to do is you're just going to go up to the top to select a tool. And the tool you're selecting is this one, the colorized mask tool. Once you select the colorized mask tool, it's a little paintbrush with dots around it. It shows you on the right hand side the last color you used, which was the green. Okay, once the green is highlighted, all you do is hit this button here, transparent. So you go ahead, you hit that button. And then when you go over to the colorized mask again on the left hand side and you hit the rendering half circle, it's automatically going to render that without that background. OK, so now when you shut the marker off, you have your oh, we're just going to go back a frame here. Sorry, you or forward a frame. You have your color completed and done. OK, now because I did this without the colorized mask, I've been just coloring everything manually. I'll show you what you would do if you wanted to implement this now. Okay, so the first thing we would do is we would just go in and this is just an example, put in some dark, our darks uh, under the, actually, you know what, before we do that, you go up to the colorized mask here because you can see that it's on this layer right here. So it's on this middle layer that doesn't, you can't actually, you can't actually put a, a frame in there so everywhere you go that painting is going to stay there and it's only going to work for that one frame you see so since that's the case you need to have a layer or a, a frame there you have to right click the colored mask scroll all the way down go to convert and you're going to convert to paint layer and this just makes it a regular paint layer just like any other layer and then you're going to go down back to your um, uh, paint layer that you have that line work and you're just going to press the duplicate frame and it's automatically if you can see here it made a frame for us right here on that spot okay so then we would just get rid of this initial frame at the beginning it always makes an initial frame so we just remove that one we only want this one and we want it here and just there so we added blank keyframes on both sides of it so that it only highlights that one section Okay, and then you would go in once it's a uh, since it's a uh, 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 just a, it says colorized mask, but really it's just a paint layer now. So paint, 
and you would just go in and you would fill in your shadows okay that is the easiest way to color anything in Krita. It's also the fastest way. Now, with this animation, I will reiterate, I have been coloring it manually. That's why I don't have a layer for that colorized mask. If I was using the colorized mask, it would all be set up uh, just like my paint layer. So I'd have one layer for the animation, uh, line work and one layer for the coloring as well okay so you can just go in and fill in all this stuff here simple and that my friends is the fastest way to do it and that's it in action so let's hit play see how that turned out the dog hops grabs the frisbee rolls and then walks the frisbee back to the owner so this one should be done soon uh, this one i was just doing for fun to keep my my skills sharp i recommend you always do that you can just do any animations to keep your skills sharp um, and then go from there so i hope you guys learned uh, that there is an easier way to color in krita you don't need to use those paid animation programs krita can do the exact same thing and it's completely free so make sure to download it and go from there i'll leave the links in the description below uh, one for the tutorial on how to set up your uh, krita for animation and um, the other link will be uh, uh, the, the first tutorial that I did on the colorized mask. Okay. All right. As always, thanks so much for your support. You guys take care and enjoy your day. Cheers. Bye.